1950s, although not successful in the early part, would produce some great players and premierships. Starting in May 1953 with Graham Farmer playing his first league game. And in 1956, it was full steam ahead with the appointment of coach Jack Sheedy. In the great era of 1956 to 1961, there were premierships in 1956, 58 and 59. And great players like Ted Kilmurray, Graham Farmer, Mel Adwell, John Watts and Tom Everett. Uh, we had a nucleus of old players and new players. You, you were in your third year yourself. You had the likes of uh, Jimmy Washbourne, Jim Spencer, Ray Perry, Nettie Bull, uh, and then some very good young players coming in like Graham Farmer, Ted Kilmurray, uh, Paul Seal, Kevin McGill, just to name a few there. Well, Watsy, I suppose. Watsy was in about his second year, I think. Uh, and Billy Mose, another one of the old players who uh, was a leading goal kicker, I think, in uh, 56 as well. So uh, it was a blend of old and new. Yes, as in 1958, we won it again, but... Uh I thought that was a good side too, the 1958 one, but by the same rule, East Fremantle at that particular time started favourites and justifiably so. Anyhow, uh, you had a pretty good look at that from memory. Once again, you were going I right looked there. on, yes, I couldn't uh, make the grade. Uh, I fell foul of the tribunal again, but still the team uh, rose to the uh, occasion and we won the 1958 grand final. I think it's been reported that uh, Trudy Lawrence hit you on the jaw with his... Uh, um, the elbow, yeah, wasn't well, it? Well, came in, uh, unfortunately, but uh, that, those things happen in football. Yeah, well, you're never, never the one to step out the way. So, uh, but Jack, uh, congratulations to you. You've virtually become a legend in your own lifetime, and uh, what you've done for East Perth has been monumental, and, uh, of course, I think you made a very wise decision. What East Perth has done for you has been very, very rewarding too. I've certainly enjoyed my uh, time with East Perth, Tom.